So what I want to do is take a look at a project I've already started. And it uh, looks like it's going to work out better, maybe even a little bit better than I anticipated. But this is for keeping the travel trailer secure at our home while we are not on the road. So here we go. I started with a, uh, it doesn't have the battery on it. I started with our DeWalt drill. It is a, a 20 volt max drill. Uh, it gets the job done pretty well, but one thing it does have is an impact wrench setting. And so you can see I'm using that setting, turn it over for you, I'm using that setting to drill into the concrete of our driveway and anchor our travel trailer down, our Airstream down to the driveway. So I've got uh, one half inch eye bolts. So I've got two of them and I've got two large half inch cables that we use for other uh, securing uh, security measures on some equipment we had. And uh, we don't have that equipment anymore so we've uh, transferred that over to this. So, those, so the, the eye bolts are half inch and I've got a 5 8 inch con uh, concrete drill that I used to drill the holes. And then the punch over here is just another, uh, uh, some kind of eye bolt thing, whatever, or not eye bolt, but a, uh, anyway, I used it to uh, tap into the uh, concrete once I got down uh, pretty low. I want to say it's a six or eight inch layer of concrete here in the driveway, and uh, it made it through it pretty well. I did go through basically a battery per hole uh, of drilling. Drill got kind of hot, so I put a fan uh, next to me. That's why the the dust is kind of blowing that way. I'm trying to cool the drill off while I used it. It 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 did it, but it uh, it grunted and groaned, but it made it through. And uh, I think the impact settings uh, helped a lot. You don't have to have it, but it did help, I believe. So what I did, and I'm sorry I didn't videotape this as I went, uh, but what I did was drill down into here, into the hole. And again, it was about, well, I can tell you, it was, I think it was about eight inches or so down into the ground. This is a 12 inch bit. Well, that's not right, a little further than that. Anyway, this is a 12-inch uh, bit. Let's see if I can check it better on this side. Yeah, there we go. All right, so obviously we've had a lot of water. It's kind of strange, uh, you know, the water under the driveway. Uh, that was a little uh, somewhat unexpected to have that much water coming through under the driveway. We're at a very, having a very wet summer here, and so uh, it shows. But anyhow, <clears throat> anyhow so the, the, the bit is 12 inches. We're about 10 inches down there. May need to, may need to uh, tap this one out a little bit more to get it down there. But anyway, so I'll give you an opportunity to see what I did to kind of tap out the bottom of it. Let's put that in there. Go, I guess about a three pound hammer. Just tap it on through. Whoop. I'm not normally this bad with a hammer, but I'm doing it left handed holding the camera in the other hand. So there you go. So tap that in just to kind of get it, uh, get it down in there to where I need it. Then insert the eye bolts into the concrete. That way they'll be flush with the ground. And it is a little bit bigger. The hole is bigger than the eye bolt because what I plan to do is, um, fill the holes of course I have to get the water out of there I suppose but fill the holes with uh, uh, construction adhesive and uh, so you've got the, the 10 or 12 inches into the ground uh, those will be flush with the ground so they're out of the way if I uh, you know except for a lawnmower driving around here whatever but they're out of the way and uh, not very intrusive and what I'll do is I'll take the two half inch cable uh, uh, locking cables that I have and I've got a uh, um, pretty relatively high end lock set of locks and I'll lock those onto the A-frame and that's it and that will give us a measure of security then I'll have the little uh, the cheap old lock that uh, kind of came with the RV but uh, that's nothing more than just something to get in their way and piss them off but if somebody wants it they'll take it but I think this will uh, Provide, provide a pretty decent level 
of security for the Airstream. If they want it, they're going to have to work for it for sure. So this is a most of the way finished. I'm going to do uh, a final version once I get to construction adhesive. I started it. Thought I had some around the house, but I don't. But uh, we'll finish it up with a construction adhesive, and I'll show you how I'm hooking it up. And uh, that'll be it. It cost, uh, I think, $19 for the concrete drill bit. And the two eye bolts, I believe, were probably, we'll say, $4 each, maybe. And again, the cables and the locks I already owned. Uh, another thing you could do is take your chains. Uh, if you don't have any cable or you don't want to go buy them, you don't want to mess with them, want to stay a little more compact, you can take your chains there, your safety chains. And you could bring them down if you wanted. And untwist it. And then you could lock these, uh, lock this to your lock. So that's another option for you if you don't have or don't want to mess around with uh, the heavier duty cables. And again, these are not, I guess it technically is sort of the bicycle lock concept, but again, they're half inch cables. And uh, I'll get those out a little bit later, show them to you. So anyway, uh, I guess my point is this will be a pretty decent locking system, security system. Uh, whatever you want to call it, at least for when it's at your house or wherever you may store it, where you're not actually on the road. Uh, we're hoping to be on the road um, more than less. Not completely full timers, but we're going to try to be most of the timers. Uh, and, and so, uh, but when we're back here, uh, this will keep uh, people hopefully from just coming up, dragging it away. And it's all for less than $100 probably. So uh, something to think about. If you have any questions, feel free to put your comments in the, uh, or your, hey, make, make comments down below. And, uh, you know, share, like, subscribe if you've not already done so. This is uh, Kelly with The Way We Go 2.0.